Welcome to the intimate and often hidden life within an artist's studio practice. This video series opens up new worlds to us and allows us to hear our artist members comment on their creative experiences. In this episode, Pamela Takagawa shows us her studio. Welcome, come in. Here's my press. And um, I'm not using it too much right now because I am repurposing or using prints that I have made already um, <clears throat> and doing multi mixed media and things like that. So this is my studio. I've had it since 1997. It's basically a converted little shed that um, I really enjoy and it's like an altar to art and that's where I work. I started using, like I said, some of my older prints and I have gravitated towards this image that I made quite a few years ago and uh, she has become my avatar and there is a few pieces at the Art Association using her. This piece is in progress or process so it's not finished but I'm working on it. And over here we have um, my COVID project. I didn't really make very much art uh, when COVID started. I didn't feel um, very inspired and I could basically cocooned and did a lot of crocheting, knitting, embroidery and things like that. So but I wanted to uh, feel like I was paying respect to the people who uh, had died. And the numbers were so vast, there's just no way to, for me to grasp them. And so I, I decided to try making marks in a meditative way for each person. And if I was getting unfocused, I would quit and come back to it later. And there's a piece called Meditation at the Art Association right now that's finished and it's the first one of um, the series. This piece, this will probably come and be adhered somehow on this as I continue to use my theme of birds because I feel birds are so free and there's an uplifting feeling about birds and um, and it's been a passion of mine so I'm combining those two things in my work these days. So this is my studio. This is Grace <laughs> and uh, she wants a studio cookie. So I'll stop now and give her the special cookies that I keep just in my studio for her.